Ever wonder what a rubber dam, also called a dental dam, is or what it's used for? Well, you're in luck because today I'm going to talk about rubber dams. All right, so first of all, this is a rubber dam. It's just a square sheet of thin latex rubber. I usually buy the green ones, but they come in different colors. What's that? You're allergic to latex? Don't worry. I have some non-latex rubber dams as well. I usually buy these in purple, just so I can easily tell the difference between the latex and non-latex versions. So in dentistry, we use rubber dams like a drop cloth for the mouth. Here's what that looks like. The rubber dam gets stretched over a tooth or several teeth and is secured with a clip. The rubber dam acts like a drop cloth and it keeps your tongue and cheek away from the tooth I'm working on. It keeps your spit from getting onto the tooth and it also keeps the tooth dust and filling particles from going into your mouth. Here's a closer look at the different rubber dams and the tools I use to install them. Dentists call their tools instruments. Does anybody know why? If you do, please leave me a comment below. The rubber dams come packed in boxes. This tool is the rubber dam hole punch. I use this to punch a small hole or holes in the rubber dam. I have two different styles of punches. They look different, but they both do the same job. The holes are where the teeth fit through. The hole punch makes different size holes depending on what size tooth I'm going to be working on. If I'm only going to be working on one tooth, I'll just punch one hole in the rubber dam in the approximate area of where I'm going to be working. If I'm going to be working on multiple teeth, I have this handy dandy stamp and ink pad, which lets me map out where the holes for the teeth are. It's important to have the holes spaced correctly. If they are too close together, the rubber dam won't seal well around the teeth. If they are too far apart, there will be too much extra rubber dam between the teeth. Next are the different clips I use to attach the rubber dam to a tooth. The clips come in different shapes and sizes depending on which tooth or teeth I'm working on. These are the ones I typically use. Other dentists will have their own favorite clips that they use. This big clip is for front teeth. This clip is for upper back teeth. This clip is for lower back teeth. And this clip is for bicuspids. You know, those smaller sized back teeth in front of your molars. Here's the tool that I use to place and remove the clips. The tips of the tool fit into the holes in the clip. Then I spread the clip open and place it on the tooth. When I remove the tool, the clip stays in place. The clip fits around the tooth and squeezes it gently. This keeps the clip from coming off the tooth. The bow part of the clip helps keep the rubber dam away from the tooth. The rubber dam then gets stretched around the clip. So once the rubber dam is on the tooth, the next tool I'll use is the rubber dam frame. It can be either made out of metal like this one or out of plastic like this one. Both can be sterilized. This stretches out the rubber dam so that I can reach the tooth that I'm going to be working on while keeping the tongue and cheek out of my way. Last tool I'll use is a dull edged instrument such as this plastic instrument, which I use to place white fillings. I'll use it to tuck the rubber dam completely under the clip. I'll also use some dental floss to tuck the rubber dam down in between the teeth. This step is very important when I'm placing the rubber dam around multiple teeth. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I put a rubber dam on one tooth as well as multiple teeth. So say I'm going to work on the lower left first molar. I'll punch a hole in the rubber dam on the lower left. Next, I'll pick the clip I'm going to use and try it on the tooth to make sure it's the right size. I will then attach a piece of dental floss to the clip I'm going to use. Next, I place a rubber dam on the frame. Once the rubber dam is on the frame, I'll place the edges of the clip into the hole. This will hold the hole open while I'm placing the dam. Then I use the placing tool by sticking the tips of the tool into the holes in the clip. I bring the whole thing over to the mouth, open up the clip, slip it onto the tooth, then close the clip onto the tooth. I'll then push the clip down with my fingers so that it's securely on the tooth. 
Next, I use the dull instrument to tuck the rubber dam under the clip. You can't use a sharp instrument for this step because if you nick the rubber dam, it usually splits wide open and you have to throw it out and start over. Then I wrap the dental floss around the flaring so if the clip slips off the tooth, it won't go flying across the room or down someone's throat. Then I give the rubber dam a final stretch. If I'm gonna set up the rubber dam so that I can work on multiple teeth at one time, or if I need to work in between a couple teeth, I'll do something a bit different. So say I wanna have all the teeth in the lower left exposed through the dam. I'll stamp a rubber dam and punch out holes for all the teeth I want to be exposed. Next, I will take a clip that I'm gonna use and insert the bow of the clip through the last hole. Then I'll tie a piece of floss to the bow. Inserting the placement tool in the clip, I'll twist the rubber dam up and hold it in my hand so that I could see what I'm doing. Then I'll place the clip onto the tooth. Next, I press down on the clip to make sure it's fully seated. Then tuck the rubber dam down around the clip and start flossing the rubber dam in between the other teeth. Once I have it in between a couple of teeth, I'll place the frame and finish flossing the rest of the teeth. Putting a little bit of lubricant on the dam can help with the flossing. I usually leave a piece of floss or a wedget against the last tooth that is sticking through the rubber dam. This helps it stay in place. A wedget is just a piece of rubber string. It thins when you stretch it, then after you floss it into place and let it go, it gets thicker and locks into place. So that wraps up my video about rubber dams. Hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button and subscribe for more dental videos. Thanks very much for watching and see you in the next one.